Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, yet another episode of the expert talk series of product management of ISBR Business School. Today with us, we have uh, we have a great guest, Ms. Sahana. She is a pass out of IM uh, Bangalore, and then uh, she's currently working as a product manager at Zynga. Uh, she has worked in Gameberry as a product manager in her earlier stint. She has also worked uh, she has also worked as an information technology manager at PNG. She is also a great fan of mobile games. As you can see in her backdrop, she uh, she has created Farmville 3. We welcome you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. So, ma'am, to start with, uh, what got your interest in product management? Yeah, uh, thank you for that introduction. So uh, probably I'll talk a bit about my background and then uh, I'll tell you what got me into product management. Uh, so I I am a computer science engineer. Like I uh, did my engineering in around 2012. Uh, then I started working as a developer. So I was working in one of the uh, US based e-commerce company called Target. Uh, during that stint, I like I had exposure to working with product managers, but I was working as a developer. Uh, so I always had interest towards uh, technology and coding and I mean IT etc. Uh, but I felt that as a developer, my scope was just minimal to executing tasks, and I was not um, I was not doing um, right right uh, things in my life where where I would want to uh, be a part of the decision making as such. So that is where I thought that okay, an MBA. Um, uh, would be a good career switch for me where I would probably shift into a managerial role or probably uh, move into something where I could uh, be the decision maker as such. Uh, so that is when I went ahead and uh, did my MBA from IIM Bangalore. Uh, and during that time, I, I mean, I tried out everything. Like, I mean, I tried out marketing, um, like HR courses, etc. Uh, and uh, to be honest, we just had one course in uh, product management during that time. Uh, and that was one of my favorite course as well. But uh, we didn't have a lot of options as such during that time. And um, after my um, after my uh, MBA, then I moved to a IT role. Basically, my stint in PNG was a project management kind of a role, which is like an IT manager. Um, there, it is more of a coordination kind of a role where you do like, okay, you are um, you are responsible for a project as such. You are responsible for a execution of those projects. Um, but in in that time, I uh, got exposed to one of a project where I was supposed to improve one of the uh, campaign management tool. So basically, it was more like improving a product over there. Um, when when I started working on that, I realized that I'm very like okay, very interested in doing something like this. Uh, where I like okay went ahead and did a lot of improvements on in terms of automation, personalization capabilities, etc. On the tool itself, so that is when I realized that okay this is like okay this is something that I should be doing as a part of my career and not be stuck in a role which is like probably not something that I would do great in. Uh, that is when I like decided that okay now I have to make a shift in my career and then. Um, got into like, okay, looking into what is product management role? Uh, how do I get started with it? Um, I, I mean, all those things I started doing during that time. I was like, I was always curious about problems and I always thought about creative solutions on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I used to start using apps like Swiggy or Zomato or like WhatsApp. And then I used to think of, okay, what, what are the, I mean, what are the things that I can solve in this, in this uh, app that I'm using? So that is when I started looking out for resources, etc., uh, and then started applying for uh, multiple roles. Um, the thing is that okay, now I had already, I mean, built my career a little. Like I had already uh, uh, spent two years in the company. Uh, now getting into product management was not easy, right? Like I, if I had to switch, I had to switch at a, uh, I mean, an entry level, correct? And obviously, I had to let go of a lot of things, like a, a good job, everything, and then uh, the salary, everything. I had to take a hit on everything, and then move into a role at an entry level. So that was the thing that was like one of the life changing moment of me. But I thought that, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. No matter what, I will go into this. Uh, so I took that decision and moved into a, a role in a very small startup called Gamebury Labs. That is where I started off with my uh, PM journey. And ever since then, I have been like uh, really, really grateful that I did that choice and very, very happy that I moved to this kind of a role. And that is how I ended up being a product manager. 
story is really inspirational. It's also really motivational for somebody who you know who wants to get into you know a particular role, but still uh, you know has a lot of doubts. That's great, ma'am. Uh, uh, now to the next question: uh, What is the best thing about being a product manager? Okay. Uh, firstly, the like I would say that this is a like a very challenging role uh, because as you see that there is a never an end for a an user problem, right? Like if you give them something, they want more. So hence, there is never an end to the challenges thrown at you. So that is what makes it interesting all the time. And uh, because it is a unique role with a mix of lot of skill set, uh, probably like okay, you need multitasking capability, you need leadership skills, you need negotiation capability. Like so. if you if you master in one of the skill set you will have to master in something else so the learning never ends that is one thing uh, the other thing is also that i like the idea of creating things or creating solutions so like it is something that you are trying to solve someone's problem right so that is something very interesting you uh, i mean uh, you are uh, thinking of new solutions thinking of different ways of solving the same problem etc which is very very interesting lastly but not the least i would say that i have learned a lot uh regarding prioritizations uh, in in this um, in this uh, career as such which has helped me in every aspect of life so basically in product management you are always having some crunch on resources all the time and that is where you are supposed to choose and prioritize based on like needs efforts time etc like you you are always given this problem in your life and um i think that is something that i have always already al- al- always tried to apply in my personal life also like that is where i feel that okay this is also something very interesting that i learned during my career and uh, something that i am using uh, in my day to day life as well and all thanks to being a product manager that i have learned a lot to do like uh, in terms of prioritization as such yep that's it that's great ma'am that's great uh so uh, you know so some days uh I go. I was just going through, uh, you know, one news article in which in a, in a so in which it was mentioned that there are around 1.2 million product managers in America in comparison to around 60,000 product managers in India. So it is very obvious that you know we are facing some skill gap, right, in mm-hmm. the country. And I'm very sure that you know there is some demand for uh, you know for product managers. So what is the skill gap, and how can we fill that up? Okay. Uh, i mean i would try, like to disagree to this that there is a skill gap as such i mean i don't know whether this is like a actual skill gap or not but my point point of view is different here uh, so what i see is that okay in us if you see like the startup ecosystem or building of uh, startups or building of company started long back like probably around 20 years ago so if you see like amazon was built in 1994 right uh, so that is when this entire uh, product management as a role started over there because all when you are building a tech product or something you are always requiring this kind of a role uh, that is when the silicon valley was established and there were a lot of pms who were like groomed during that time and that's why uh, many people from different countries also moved into like silicon valley to become product managers and then work in that in, in us as such so that is one reason where we have a lot of people who are product managers over there but in india if you look at it this entire boom of startups etc started just 6 7 years ago right and that is where we started realizing that okay that there is a role like this which will be helpful in any of the startups that is being built and and that is where this demand for product managers started increasing and that is when people started moving into these roles or uh, pe- i mean college graduates started looking into courses where they could do this kind of a course to get into this role etc so i mean to be fair i don't think it is not uh, i mean it is not a good comparison to do that okay a, a country which was like which has started in this path quite early to compare it with india which has started very recently so it is in two different stages and that's that's why i think it is not right to compare and but this is my point of view but i mean i think that is what i feel and it's not really about the skill set skill set gap but more about the uh, different stages of the market in itself okay ma'am that is an uh, that's an interesting point of view so as you mentioned that uh, you know the uh, the startup culture in india has just started 6 uh, 7 years before so during the growth stage uh, of this how important would be a course uh, like you know uh, how important would a course like product management be right now correct 
Yeah, I think product management, like to be honest, even I said, right, like, I just had one elective as a product management course, right? So that um, particular course where which can give you that basic understanding or a structure to follow to start this journey of a product management role is was not there. And I think it is it is quite critical also. Probably it is not going to teach you how to be a good product manager, but it can help you with some kind of a guideline or some kind of tips and tricks that you can use during your career as a like a product manager. Um, ideally, my thought is that a product manager course should should not be just like, okay, you have so much of theory talking about every kind of, uh, I mean, every kind of terms and uh, whatever like frameworks available. It should be more like a real life case study based or it should be more like, okay, a practical um, understanding of pro uh, product problems and how you go about solving it. Um, I think few things that ideally people should cover in these kind of courses is like on, more on what structure of thoughts you should be applying uh, to identify the problem, how you, should, how you should be looking at data to understand the problem, how should you um, uh, go ahead and look at customer information to, get, uh, uh, to know what is the problem, um, what do you do to prioritize based on different kinds of frameworks. Works. Um, how how do you think it can be ultimately solved? Like when you have a problem, how do you solve it? So ideally, all these kind of things should be like um, I mean, these kind of thought process should be inculcated in you, uh, and that is how it will help you understand like what what a real life product problem is like. Correct. So when you go into into your job, you will you will not feel that okay, your course was irrelevant or it was not. I mean, it is not something that you can use in your real life. Um, problem that you're facing in your job. So with this, you will also get an idea about that. Uh, and more importantly, I think that it can give you a glimpse of what the field is, right? And with that, it will tell you whether you it is something that will interest you or not, correct? Um, instead of just going with the herd saying that, okay, now product management is something everybody is doing, let me go and join a job and uh, probably figure it out. Instead of doing that, if you do a course, you have like you have the entire idea of what the role is. Now you have the power to choose whether I am the person who's going to fit in this role or not, and then go ahead with the role. Uh, so I think that's why the course in itself should, I mean, should guide a student or should be able to help a student to make a career in product management as such. That's great, ma'am. Uh... So, uh, you know, so, uh, so one of the things which I have uh, noticed while talking to some prospective students is that they feel that there is a myth that uh, product management is only meant for engineers. Is that true? Mm -hmm. And how difficult is it for someone from, uh, you know, from a non-engineering background to pursue a career in product management? If you could throw some light on that. Okay. Uh, I think people, I mean, people usually assume that the product management role is meant for engineers uh, uh, because of few reasons, probably one of them I can think of is maybe there is a need for product managers to converse with engineers and understand a lot of things regarding the like product itself. Uh, for example, how certain things are being implemented. What are the issues or roadblocks that the engineers are facing? What I mean, um, you, you should be able to know how the tech system works to understand what is the complexity of it. Um, so, for example, an engineer gives an effort estimate, you should be able to understand whether it is a fair estimate or not. Right. So all these things are something that maybe uh, holds true that, OK, an engineer might be able to do it uh, easier than a non-engineer. But it is not something that a non-engineer cannot learn or excel in this. So a non-engineer might have to put some efforts in the beginning because that person might not be knowing all these uh, technology terms and things like this. I understand it really well, uh, but it is not something that, okay, without that, they cannot survive at all. And um, other than this, there are also certain roles which are very technical versus not technical. So there are, there are roles called technical PM roles, right? In those roles, what happened is that people really work on the back end part of it. And that is where they might need the engineering degree. Like they might want to, like they will be working on all this technology um, hands on. So that is why that, that roles might need a technical uh, engineering background. But otherwise, if it is a front end role, like where people are like mainly concentrating on user flow, customer understanding, customer experience, et cetera, there you don't need uh, like an engineering degree to excel in it. So that is what I would feel that 
a non engineer can or a person who doesn't have a technology background can really do well can succeed in this role uh, without without it as such that's great ma'am i'm sure yeah. this answer would be helpful for a lot of students who would be watching this video uh, mm -hmm. uh so ma'am now getting to the next question uh, what are the basic skill sets that you need to get into product management like you know what are the bare minimum uh, or the non negotiables of getting into product management okay um i mean as i had mentioned earlier also like product management is a role which needs a lot of like diverse set of skill set like there are like hard skills and there are some soft skills etc uh, but um, just to give you a glimpse of like some of the things which are really used and the really uh, required for being a good pm are like few of these i think um one thing i would say is having a, a data driven mindset as such uh you should be able to um understand data and derive insights out of data uh, for this probably you might need to have some good hold on things like excel or sql etc uh, but otherwise it is more about how you how good you are at understanding uh, data and able to derive insight of it and then solve for that uh, problem as such uh the second thing i would say is that being able to have a uh, user empathy or a customer uh, understanding as such uh, for this you could i mean you could yourself be a an user of the product and try to understand how the product uh, feels for a user uh, you could actually go ahead and do things like surveys group discussions etc to derive those insights so that is one thing you should be always comfortable with to um, be able to connect with the customer or the user and um, get insights out of it uh the other thing is like i i i think i also mentioned earlier like prioritization is something which you should be really good at uh, if you i mean if you do it well that means that your life is going to be simple as a product manager uh for this you should have a clear understanding of like these business needs and as well as technology capability so so that you're able to manage it or so that you're able to uh, uh derive what is the what is the feature or what is the thing that i need to develop right now versus later so this kind of a cap capability is very very important um lastly i would say in terms of communication skill like on the softer side i think you should also have a very good return and verbal communication skill i would say return because you would you would you would be required to write a lot of requirement documents uh where probably you will also need some like um understanding of certain certain tools where you can create mock ups and prototypes so that you can communicate your idea better right uh rather than just writing it in words probably you will have to do some diagrams to prove that like show that okay this is the kind of a user flow etc uh the other thing on verbal communication i think that is also uh, required as a as as a part of this role because you are supposed to convince a lot of stakeholders at at different times right right um there might be some business partners who are asking for certain feature and your engineering team doesn't want to do it so you're you're managing a lot lot of you're you're talking to a lot of teams at your communication or your convincing capability i would say uh, so i think this is also one of the most important skill set that um, a person should have to be a good product manager so i mean the list can go on but i think these are few of the main things that i found useful and i found that okay are important to be a good pm message yeah. right ma'am right uh, i'm sure you know the 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 students must have noted this down and they they would start working on it uh, so ma'am you know uh, one more uh, pertinent question which does come at me is that um, for a fresher uh, you know somebody who's a fresher uh, can he or she uh, take this course uh, mm -hmm. right uh, like you know if yes then uh, what would be the challenges in it you know if you just uh, so i'll uh, just some light on it okay so you're talking about the fresh graduate right like who, whether they can yeah, pursue uh, yes yes exactly you know a uh, somebody with no work ex who wants to get into the course of product management uh, you know what would be the inherent challenges in that okay uh, i i don't think there is any restriction as such that a fresh graduate cannot pursue a, like a pm course or a pm career as such uh the only only thing is that probably you will you will i mean you will be you will be open uh, to the whatever knowledge you're getting right you don't have any pre bias like okay i i experienced this in the past and now uh i mean now it is different so i think it is a good thing to be honest because you are coming with an open mind 
um uh, then like when you when you're starting off as a fresher like probably uh you you might you might be doing a lot of like okay if if i'm talking about starting as a fresher and joining a pm role there probably what you're going to be is that be is that okay, you will be working as a like a junior pro product manager or a associate product management kind of a role where it is mainly on execution side where you will be learning to execute the idea you will do a lot of coordination work you will uh, there will be a lot of tasks on your plate you will be doing a lot of multitasking etc uh, but this will be like a starting point for you and uh, later when you are growing in that role or growing in in this field then you will uh, i mean you will use a lot of these skill set in your um, uh, in your later stages which will help you build like better strategies etc uh but people like okay tend to have a lot of expectation that okay from the from day one i am going to be able to build great ideas or i am going to do like a lot of things uh, on day one only and i am going to like solve all the problems in the world which might not happen right because it is a learning process it takes a lot of time um it it doesn't matter if a person i mean if person has a uh, prior experience or not everybody is learning in that in that process right like everybody is starting somewhere and they are learning and uh, even if you are even if you have breezed a very uh, good like okay good number of years in in product management still there is a lot more to learn it is not that okay after this point there is no learning now i can just i mean just relax and not do anything else it is not true so that is why i would say that it doesn't matter as such and uh, it is i mean product management is a role which Uh, or, or or as a course in itself is something which is uh, i mean even if i if even if i join i would also probably learn from it or even if a product head of a company joins that person also will have something to learn from it so i would say that uh, it doesn't matter as such that's really good ma'am uh, so before we end the interview uh, do you have any short message to give to our viewers or to our prospective students who are watching this video something yeah so uh, i think one thing that i would say is that ki uh, always think of this as a uh, or as something that you want to explore like uh, just just don't jump into a conclusion that okay because product management is a role that everybody is doing that i should do it uh, introspect yourself and see that okay whether i am a person who can uh, do such kind of a role talk to a lot of people like talk to different kinds of uh, product managers and see what is their day to day life like uh, are you something up to, uh, up for it are you are you willing to do these kind of things in your in your career uh, so i would suggest that do a lot of introspection talk to people and then only uh, come to a conclusion okay that this is the role for me uh, the other thing i i would i would say is that ki enjoy the entire process of it like i i mean um i i felt really good in my early years when i was learning a lot because it was that okay uh, i didn't know anything so it would be like okay everything is a new learning for me right everything that comes up in your day day or as a problem that is a learning for you so take it up as a challenge that okay take it up as a new learning for you and enjoy the entire process uh, rather than being very stressed about it or uh, worry about it as such so yes that's it from my end Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Uh, so that is it from our side, viewers. Uh, I'm sure you must have taken something away from this video, and I'm sure that a lot of your uh, doubts and queries, you know, uh, would have been uh, cleared by this video. Uh, we'd like to thank you, ma'am, uh, on the behalf of uh, ISBR College. I'd like to thank you for taking out your time from your schedule for this video. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. All the best. Bye. <laughs>